What? What? How's that work? It's reversed. Woo! We're live. Ta-da. Hello. And there's our special guest, Yukon Cornelius in the house. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. I don't know the rest of the song. For those of you that don't know, Stevie Lifts, our son. My hair was that color at one time. I don't have the epic beard that he does. Or the epic hair. Or the red hair anymore. But we're live. Let's sit up straight, Steve, just to show how tuny your mother really is in real life. <laughs> Stephen is uh, staying with us a few days, and uh, glad he's here. There's been so much extra food. It's great. We went to happy hour tonight. He didn't. He came over later. But Hi, we baby. have, we have, uh-oh, our daughter's on there. Nia, we miss you, and we're trying to take care of them. But we have pepperoni pizza, and we have buffalo chicken pizza. Because Stevie Lips is here. Who just checked in? Phil Barr. Hey, Phil, how you doing? Just hey, talking about you guys. What's uh, what's Mia got to say? Miss you guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we really miss you, Mia. But it was great news today. We're uh, really glad that um, it's uh, things are going to move forward. We're uh, really happy about that. But, um, BK Bowhunter's in the house. Uh -oh. What? Say what you want. Say oh. use your use your words. Oh, use your words. Use, use your, your words. words. Look at this. My birthday present. A birthday present from our favorite daughter, Mia. It's upside down. A, yeah, it's upside down. Uh -oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> A crab pizza cutter for Friday night pizza nights. You talk about it here, since you're going to poke me and everything else about it. Talk. Come on. Well, it's the second time we used it, and it does a great job. It's small and convenient. Super and sharp. super cute. What more could you ask for? Right? Yep. Sent by Mia. And Stephen. Mia. Mostly me. Mostly, mostly Mia. Him. Mostly him. <laughs> oh, he said mostly me. I got you your own gift. All right, Steve, take over. You got it. Let's go. I always have to do all the talking, so. Well, you just said, you just said you were a great conversationalist. He did. He's talking about, oh, I should get this job where I'm driving. What was it? Driving people to the airport? Okay. Or something like that? All right. So you can't just do that. No, no. A friend of ours drives a van. He picks people up at the long-term parking and drops them off <laughs> at the airport. And it's a really good job. I said I would be good at that because I'm a conversationalist. I could be talking to these folks while they're going to the airport. I mean, it's a short drive. It's like, a you know, 10 minutes from the long-term parking to where, you know, Terminal A, Terminal B, whatever. He really likes it. And I said, oh, I would be good at that. Yeah. So now I'm getting beat up for it. You're not getting beat up. I agree with you. I'd like to let you know, too. Sensitive. Yeah. I'd like to let you know, too, that hopefully it'll appear. Krabby had two, two whiskey sours tonight at the Mifflin Tower. At Mifflin, Mifflin Tower. Wow, I, I, I had 10 beers. beers. I had 10, 10 beers. Sorry, it's not the tower. It's the Mifflin Tower. Tavern. So rookie numbers. Yeah, rookie numbers. But come on, spit it out. What do you guys got? Let's go. Let's go. What's what's some of the stuff coming yeah, up is. on the screen? Hello, Jake Fox. Buffalo chicken sounds good. BK Bow Hunter. So Eric and Zach in the house. Hey guys. Yes. How's the fishing? Uh, we got South Poles in the house. Hello. Happy hour was four hours long. As predicted. Uh, yeah, it was happy nice. Hour, happy hour time it, doesn't it was work nice. the same as regular time. Krabby it's says, Krabby says oh, it opens at 3 o'clock. So I said, all right, well, you know, we'll, we'll see about what, what time we're going to walk there. It's a 
about a not more than a 10 minute walk. So we get up there, it's like five minutes to four, or 10 minutes to four when we get there. We get there, the door's locked. So I put giant on my phone, what time it is, and I'm banging on the door saying, You're supposed to be open at three. Well, apparently the, the website's wrong. They don't open until four, but they let us in anyway, and we were able to start a little early. And we stayed there. I had um, oh, the buffalo wings were so good. They were the buff. Where am I at here? The right. buffalo wings were this big and that big around. And the buffalo wing sauce, I'm not fishing. It's not growing. <laughs> Delicious. Mifflin Tavern, second in Mifflin, South Philadelphia. The food is excellent. You got to try it if you're in the area. My mother in law's here too. Your mother in law's saying hello. Yo, Janine's hi, here. Hi, Yo. Janine. Janine, when can Roger and Rosie move in for a couple of weeks? No way, Jose. Hey, you already got uh, you got Rudy the Rat and Vito. There you go. So, yeah, Rudy the Rat and Vito. My uh, my grandson Vito, the Dachshund, is living with his uh, with Stephen's mother in law at the moment. How about we do this? You're in charge of the questions. Read the read the comments and let us know what we need to talk about. Eric and Zach Aldoris are saying they're getting the boat looked at tomorrow. Nice. I look forward to seeing Zach catching fish because it's usually Zach that catches the fish. Southpaw 210 is asking, is that where they always play country roads? Uh, the last video I sent you of that was at our Irish Society. Where is it at here? There's our, that was Sunday night at the Second Street Irish Society, but it's the same brass band that was playing it, uh, which is uh, uh, Woe Fat is the name of the band. And as a matter of fact, they're going to be in uh, West Virginia coming up. They're going to be at a strawberry festival somewhere in West Virginia. I don't remember where we yeah, it was, it was, a, it was a long day. We were, was it? we were out from eight o'clock in the morning. It was like eight o'clock at night when they were telling us this, but they are going to be in West Virginia uh, playing at a festival there. What do we got from Phil Barr? He says, uh, he's asking if I've been to North Wildwood since he did the, uh, Upgrades. I haven't yet. Yeah. Hopefully soon, but we're getting there. How about your mother-in-law? What do you got from her? She says that she'll dogs. be right there. What's that? She'll be right here She's for them too. She's coming to get the dogs. You can have this one. You can't have Rosie. She's mine. Use the crabby. Yeah, it's going to use her. Use her crab cutter. So what? we got a buffalo chicken flatbread pizza. From Walmart. I just ate most of it in two months. They said it was very good. It was in case really anybody good. wants to try it, I think it was four dollars and change. Big enough. And Stephen and I are heading to North Wildwood tomorrow, Phil. Uh, we're going to play the bagpipes in the morning at St. Anne's Church, and then we're going to play the bagpipes at uh, the North Wildwood uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade because a friend of ours. And the founder of our band and the Irish Society is the Grand Marshal this year. He is also the chief of police in North Wildwood, New Jersey, and he will soon be retiring. And um, our neighbor, who lives directly across the street from us in North Wildwood, his daughter is uh, ready to become the, the chief of police in North Wildwood. And unfortunately, I don't, I can't think of what her marriage name is. Her her maiden name is Flanders. But she's going to be the new chief of police down there. And she's very, very, very capable uh, of that position. So uh, we look forward to seeing what she does down there. But we're going down tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. The bus is leaving our Irish Society at 8 a.m. to uh, head to North Wildwood so that we can go down there and play the bagpipes. And uh, we'll be home uh, sometime tomorrow night. Should Sometime be, tomorrow night or Sunday a, morning. No, we have we have to play the bagpipes again on Sunday. We have a pub crawl uh, here in the neighborhood, but uh, we uh, we will be home sometime tomorrow night. Shouldn't be too late. Uh, we played last week. Uh, we met at eight a.m. and I got home at a ten forty-five p.m. It was ten. No, it was ten forty-five p.m. It was no, I was home at ten forty-five. It's the earliest I've been home. Somebody, somebody last night outside said 
she left at 1130. And you no, said, no, 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 no. When I said I me. left before you. No, I said I left before her. She left at 1130 p.m. I was home at 1045 p.m. Follow the, follow the questions yeah. there, son. <clears throat> All right. Is South Paul saying it's Buck, Buckhannon? Uh, probably not saying that right. Buchanan? But Buchanan? Maybe. Buchanan, West Virginia? Uh, what else? Jake the Fox? Phil will no, be sorry. here tomorrow. <laughs> Getting out of, out of order. Yeah. B BK Bo Hunter saying Country Roads, Arts. Yep. Jake the Fox, uh, they're back at the campground for, from Ohio. And they got back oh, you're Rome. building a deck now, right? You uh, just came back from Ohio where you met the guys from Victory Services. Had to be pretty cool to meet them. The cement uh, guys. The cement guys, as Lisa says. You're watching the cement guys again? I'm addicted to that uh, YouTube channel called Victory Outdoor Services. It's very good. Uh, I am addicted to it. But uh, Jake the Fox and his dad, Phil, uh, went to Ohio and met those guys. And went to, the, I believe it's Deco Creek. Uh, demonstration, and they had a uh, they had a meet up there, so uh, that that's got to be a great trip. Come on, son, you're not following along here. Uh, so BK Bow Hunter wants to know was the pizza done on time? It the was. The pizza was done early. I actually have my slice right here. Beautiful pepperoni and pepperoni slice. I'll show you mine, but I've been eating it. So but we we went to happy hour, and I I'm telling you. It had to be 15 wings, maybe, I don't know, 13 wings on a plate. They were they were that big around and at least that big. They were delicious. Absolutely delicious. But um, what else is going on? Oh, we got big news. Big news. Krabby's birthday is not in the video. I know most of you that are commenting now have watched the video because you put comments on there. But I told Krabby the day before, well, when we went out on that Friday for her birthday, when she goes into work on Monday to tell him she quit, that she's had enough. She's all, all kinds of stuff going on and it's too stressful. So guess who's done work May 16th? Retiring. Send help. So what did we do? <laughs> we went out and bought a new truck, and we're going to start traveling. So if you want us to come visit you, you got to send yeah. us your location. Now's the time. Because we went out and bought a Toyota Tundra. I was uh, I was going to buy a Ford. Uh, I have a friend that owns a Ford dealership, and when he finds out I bought a Toyota, it's going to be very upset. He gave us. He was offering us a great deal on a on a Ford. But I started looking at the other vehicles that were available, and Ford is getting more and more and more expensive, and you're getting less and less for it. So I went and looked at a Chevy Silverado, and a great guy, Bob, uh, offered us a great deal on a, on a truck, and it was really nice. So I take Krabby to go look at it, and the dashboard is like here on her. It's like right here. So she can't see completely over the hood of the truck. So I said, our only other option is to go to, let's go look at a Toyota. So we go and look at a Toyota. She fell in love with this Toyota that's outside right now. It's called Lunar Rock. It matches the siding down the shore. It matches the siding down the shore. <laughs> it's almost the same color as the siding, but it is um, uh, the way that the, the, the models, it's, it's an SR, an SR5, uh, uh, I believe a limited, and then a 1780. We had an, we got an SR5 Platinum with the safety package and the uh, convenience package. The truck is beautiful. I, all I cared about was the safety stuff and the interior. Krabby picked the color. It's absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's really, really nice. So um, really look forward to it. So we traded our truck in. And we got a we got a pretty good deal on on the truck that we got. At uh, I'll give him a shout out. Nick is the salesman at Conicelli Ford. Oh, I'm sorry, Conicelli Toyota. Uh, we got a great deal on it, and uh, it's an absolutely beautiful truck. So, um, like they said, that that truck's good for 500,000 miles. Well, hopefully, we're going to put 
five hundred thousand miles on that truck. <laughs> drive to Paris. Yeah, we're not driving to Paris. We're not. You can't. Duh. Duh. Right. We we could get close though. Uh, isn't there a ferry Too or close. something we could take? Um, you're not keeping up. I, with the yeah, because you're talking. What am I supposed to do? Talk See? over it? <laughs> well, read them. Yes. <laughs> yes. A good conversation. Uh, well, where are we at? Me when mentioning you, that May 16th is Eric and Zach Eldor's birthday. Yep. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'll be coming back from uh, Washington on the 15th. Krabby's last day will be the 16th. And then we'll go to North Wildwood on the 17th. Uh, but I believe we have to come home on the 18th for a party. Uh, the band Mr. Green Jeans will be playing at our Irish Society as a pep rally for a golf tournament that's coming up that I'll explain much later, um, the golf tournament and what it's for and all that. It's a fundraiser for, uh, but what do you got? Phil Phil wants to know when you're coming back to work. Uh, I just packed his lunch. He's on his way. All the way in a minute. Well, I I guess I have a, uh, I have doctor's appointments next week, but I think the Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday after Easter, I'm available. I can come up Friday because we're doing that. We already have it planned for Friday. I have to come home Saturday, but I can come back up Sunday night and work Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday if you want me to. Uh, did he say I'm fired? Oh. Again? Who's that, young Philip? That's, uh, oh no! Okay, yeah, uh, but I'm available to twenty. I think it's the twenty fifth, twenty sixth, and twenty seventh. I have to be home on the twenty eighth because of uh, we're teaching a bagpipe class, and that's the last night of the bagpipe classes. So I have to be home that night. We got a lot of congratulations for Krabby on retiring and her birthday. Did you see the birthday video? Boy, do I have some photos of the end result of that. But I was in trouble for that. I posted those uh, that are friends on Facebook saw the photo that I posted on Facebook, and um, I had to apologize for it. I was in trouble. When did you apologize for it? Right now, not just now. Oh. I, uh, I I am here yeah. to say publicly that I'm sorry for posting that photo and getting caught, and <laughs> thinking it was and getting caught, <laughs> and thinking it was funny. Um, Phil wants to know if you want a job. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm done, Phil. <laughs> 43 years, the same job. I'm done. Next mm. next Monday, I'll be 43 years, the same place. So, Krabby goes in and speaks to, it's Dennis Holden Betsy. Betsy, Dennis is the owner. Holden is his son. Betsy is Holden's wife. She goes in, she tells Betsy. That she's like, oh, my God, I can't believe it. So I tell her, you've been with Holden since you were 15 years old. He was our high school teacher. I'm sorry, Dennis. You got to go in and talk to, talk to Dennis. She went in and talked to Dennis. He broke down crying. He is so upset that she's going to be leaving. But it's time. It's time. She's been there since she was 15 years old. She went to college, and every time when she said she was going to quit, they made her another offer, like, please stay here. We'll give you this if you stay. And it, uh, it's been 40, 43 years. And if she didn't want to leave her friend Paula, who's also been there 43 years, because Paula's got some stuff going on. You know, unfortunately, her mom just passed. Um, you know, so Lisa didn't want to leave her friend Paula. So she went and talked to Paul, and Paul's like, "Are you nuts? Leave." <laughs> and so, and so she, yeah, right. Not that they're never going to stay. They don't. We don't live far away from each other, so it's not like they're never going to see each other again. But I understand. Lisa's a very loyal friend, and uh, you know, wait, the math doesn't line up. You said she was there since she was fifteen. Well, forty-three years. How, no, yeah, right. No, that's she's a lot younger smart, than that. That, smart that is math one doesn't. And smart is no, two. no, she, she, she doesn't. She's too, she's too young for that math. Said to work. You quit. Full bar. 
What's his? What the, I can't see which one. Says. That's too far away from me to read. All right. So we got uh, BK Bowhunter saying, Phil Barr, did you give him time off? <laughs> Phil said, no, you quit. He I didn't quit. quit. I didn't quit. I didn't have a truck for for eight days, nine days. I didn't have a truck. And then I had doctor's appointments. And then we had uh, Lisa's birthday. And then we have St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Month. Uh, St. Patrick's Month. I used to get a, I used, you know, most people get a day or a week or whatever. Stephen and I get a whole month. Um, so once that's over on Sunday, I have a bagpipe class that I'm teaching for five weeks with another guy on Thursday nights. So I'm available Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays for the next couple of weeks. Call him, Phil. <laughs> yeah, because guess what? The new truck, I'm going to need the money. I'm going to need some money. Uh, what's this down the bottom there? I, I, can't, I can't see what it says. Well, Phil Barr says, Lisa, how are you going to deal with Bill every day? I'm She's going to get a job at the zoo. She's a lucky Part girl, time. Phil. Lucky, lucky girl. Well, if he goes to work, then I won't have to deal with him every day. I still don't know how it's going to work. This may be the last video you see with him in it. <laughs> ah. What do we got? And if that happens, and this is his last video, mind your business. All right. What do we got? Those uh, lamping. He just said excuses. Where's Jake the Fox at? Jake the Fox got nothing as usual. You're not making a comment there, Philip. How was meeting the guys from Victory Services? They did mention it up there. Uh, it was oh, let's see what they said. It was a great time meeting the guys, and then South Ball responded. Or, Responded uh, something else, not really. Never mind. Yeah, so we're we're uh, we're going to start traveling around uh, in the springtime, or no, I'm sorry, in the fall, uh, probably. Um, we uh, got some stuff going on, and hopefully uh, by that time, uh, dropping stuff. Yeah, right. I won't drop the the remote control on the floor again. Hopefully uh, by the fall. Things will return to being somewhat normal for uh, our family. And uh, Krabby and I are going to start making some trips Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Uh, our first trip, I think we're going to drive to Savannah, Georgia. And uh, <laughs> did you hear, did you hear Rosie? <laughs> uh, we're going to probably drive to Savannah, Georgia first. And then uh, we want to make a trip to somewhere in Maine. Uh, any suggestions? Yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, please throw them out there. What's South Pole saying, Steve? Uh, I said, y'all have a good evening at the West Virginia State Short Course Swim Meet. There's some swimming. Oh, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's right. It's the, uh, I believe it's the championship. So good luck to your son. Yeah, good luck. And uh, please let us know how he does. And we look forward to the next video of you at the farm. Uh, although you didn't take pepper this time, uh, I'm sure you had to pay the price when you got home. But uh, we look forward to seeing the videos. So what's this? Uh, Phil says caribou. Been there twice. And then oh, caribou mean. Right. I thought you were going <laughs> hunting for caribou. Well, <laughs> no, he wants to go out hunting. I'm in. Me too. Which BK hook? Oh, uh, he's asking if we are going spring turkey hunting. Mm. Now, I've uh, I've never turkey hunted. We also um, don't have anything to hunt them with except for the bows. Well, um, we could boat hunt, or I mean, I have the shotgun uh, with the uh, the slug gun. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I uh, we we're not going to eat it, so I I really I don't know that I would hunt it because I I wouldn't I wouldn't be eating it. Um, I don't know. I, I, I imagine it would be something I'd like to try someday, but at this point here, I uh, I really don't have. Yeah. But you need a giant turkey. Oh, great. Do that again. Like, go ahead. Let them record that so they can use it when they hunt. <laughs> Did you hear the turkey call just then? Oh, you, God. You need a, a taxidermy turkey to pull with the coyotes. Yeah. 
Southpaws um, say in Northfield, Maine. Been there several times bear hunting. Then go down to the beach near Mockets. I guess. I can't see. Yeah, that's what it says. I don't know how to pronounce it, though. So, what do we got here? Yeah, I, I we uh, I started watching YouTube videos, of course, on uh, driving to Savannah, and um, I, it looks like we might like to stop at Charleston uh, on the way. Yeah. Eleven hours, eleven hours, eleven and a half hours in the car is a little bit much, so uh, we would probably try to find something in the middle, uh, or you know. Um, even in the middle of Philadelphia and Charleston, Charleston's nine hours. So if we found something in the middle of that and then just drove from there, Charleston and then uh, Savannah. And then we have friends that live in Hilton Head. So we wouldn't mind going down there and seeing them. Which Jake the Fox saying? He's saying that Vermont's pretty cool too. They rented a cabin up there. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, that's another place I think I'd like to go. Uh, we've been to all the places outside of the United States, uh, you know, uh, we love Mexico, but Mexico to Bahamas, Bermuda and Jamaica and all those places. We've been to all those places. I'd like to stay in the United States and start driving around. And uh, the, the reason why I say driving around is because we have Roger and Rosie. We're going to have to do something where we take them. Uh, well, Janine will take yeah, you're still here. Is that okay? <laughs> um, we uh, I spent 10 minutes on the computer and found a 20 foot travel trailer, uh, that we could get, we could keep it up at the, the cabin, and then when we go to go on the trips, we could just hook up at the, the cabin and take it from there. Uh, very reasonably priced, a 20 footer, and uh, it had a bedroom, and so um, we may just go. Hopping campgrounds. I'd like to see the Grand Canyon. Uh, my uncle had been to uh, Wyoming Hole. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, Jackson, Hole. Jackson Hole, Wyoming. <laughs> so I'd like to, uh, uh, after his description to that, I'd like to see that. So I'd, I'd, I'd like to do those things. But BK Bowhunter saying to come down one spring, we'll give it a try. Yeah, I, I'd love to come to West Virginia. Um, our neighbor, uh, Eddie. Uh, used to live a couple doors down. Um, he uh, He's connected to uh, Charleston, uh, West Virginia. And uh, he's saying it's absolutely, you know, beautiful. And, uh, you know, like to, like to go out and experience these things. So, Roger. Meanwhile, Roger's ringing the bell because he has to go to the bathroom. And, uh, you know, very well behaved. Says the person that's at work all day. Hmm. Somebody's got to work. Right, Phil? I'm ready. I'm Bye. ready. I'm back in the Bye. saddle. Bye. I'm ready to go. Bye. Just, I, I think um, I think young Jake the Fox doesn't want me around. I just get that feeling. I don't know why. I don't know what I did. I don't know what I did to you, Phil. Friend. What you saying? I'm still here. <laughs> He says that all day at work when I start picking on him. Uh, I'm right here. Um, I miss the guys. I uh, want to get back up there and do some work. What's you saying? I can't see that. Far. He said that's right. Yeah. I got my new stickers too. My new Krabby Bill sticker on the back window of the truck. A little different than the one Philip bought me. But I traded that truck in with the sticker on the window, and uh, I ordered a new one, and it's in. I just put it on. Uh, it's uh, it says Krabby Bill in cursive, but it's the same sticker that uh, Jake the Fox had gotten me. What's Eric and Zach saying? Left him in the rafters. Hmm. Yeah, right. I try every time he goes up there. I get him to go up the ladder. I go, oh, let me hold the ladder for you. You go up there in the loft and. Uh, as soon as he gets up there, I move the ladder. I say, oh, I'll talk to you later. And he just sits there and looks at me. Who's texting? The phone does not stop. Oh, not at all. Better, Raj. No, you go. Well, what are you ringing the bell for? Um, 
it's about our bagpipe job tomorrow. Unfortunately, one of the one of the guys had an emergency, and uh, with his uh, child, and he's texting an update now. Um, so we're going to be playing at uh, St. Anne's Church tomorrow morning at the 10 a.m. Mass. Um, if anybody wants to come, yeah, right. If anybody's in the area of North Wallen, come on over and see us play. Come on, son. What do you got for us? I'm seeing where we got. BK Bowhunter says Blue Ridge Parkway. Yeah. Blue Ridge Parkway. Be right there. Eric and Zach left somebody in the rafters. Uh, Jake the Fox. Jake the Fox That's yeah. when I uh, pulled the ladder away from when he was oh. sitting up there. I'd love to get up there so I can go look at this bear mount to put on the other side because I think that would that would be perfect. And then I had a friend of mine, um, <laughs> Lesha. A friend of mine, uh, Bill French, uh, called me yesterday to see if I would be interested. He has a uh, uh, a buck that he had shot, uh, an eight-pointer that he had mounted, and he had it hanging in his house, but they're selling their house. So uh, he wanted to um, – he wants to give me the, the mail, but I don't have any Hi, place Joseph. to put it. Who's there? Joseph's here. Front yard football. League. There he is, front board. <laughs> Joseph is going to be my bagpipe student starting on the 21st. His mom and dad own the Mifflin Tavern. He's a good kid, and I look forward to teaching him how to play the bagpipes. He'll be an asset to the bagpipe band. Wait, who's going to teach you? Tell, oh. me, tell him about his. What did your son do? <coughs> he's my son. That's why he said it. What's he saying? Tell to everybody about Joseph's. Yeah, check out, the, check out Front Yard Football League. And it's Joseph Lamplu. There's there's multiple front yard football leagues, but you got to go through and you got to find Joseph Lamplu. Uh, he's a friend of ours. He's got four subscribers at the moment. Count them four. Let's get his numbers up there, folks. Let's get his numbers up there. He's going to be posting soon. We'll be watching. Posting soon. I can't wait to see it. He's very very knowledgeable uh, about. Philadelphia sports. He's a very, uh, very good football player himself. And that's what he's going to talk about football. And he's a big basketball fan. So if you can check out his page, front yard, so it's front yard football league. He's got five now. He's got five now, baby. Stevie lifts just signed up. So he's our, he's our friend, son. He's a good kid. Um, we, uh, I look forward to uh, spending some extra time with him, uh, teaching him how to play the bagpipes. Uh, he's a good kid. Him and his brother, Charles, Charlie, Chaz, Chucky. Don't forget Vivian. And, Vi and the sister, Vivian. <laughs> She's a good girl, too. They uh, all marched in the St. Patrick's Day Parade with us this weekend. Vivian is a step dancer, and Charles and Joseph uh, marched in a parade as just uh, general marchers, but uh, Charles carried our flag uh, leading up in front of the judges' stand. So it was a nice, uh, real nice time. What's he saying? He's saying posting soon, but then he says not nice. Who's, who's not nice? He says not nice. Not nice. Okay, I'm not sure who not probably, nice is. Probably. So. Something, something did, everybody, something. Uh, did everybody watch uh, Krabby's birthday video? Oh. Vivian. Oh, Vivian, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I didn't say it, Vivian. Lisa made me say it. <laughs> you know who said it, Vivian. <laughs> Did everybody watch Krabby's birthday video? I got in trouble for breathing heavy. Because <laughs> I went, as we were walking, I mean, we had been out since breakfast. It's now almost 8 p.m. So I'm, you know, okay, I'm a little winded walking home. I'm sorry. I'm old and overweight. So I... Breathed in a little bit. I was oh, concerned wait, wait, for his safety. I, I got in all kinds of That's trouble. That's what you get for being concerned. What's uh, what getting, we got? Up I'm America's getting thumbs up. From, from yeah. Right. Yeah, I look forward. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm waiting to see Zach catch these big fish, man. I'm learning a lot from him. Uh, and then we got your dogs here. Uh, what do we got? What's the next one on there? It's, uh, Charles saying hello. Hi, Hi Charles. Charles. Chucky, how are the whole gang's here? Guess what he had for for 
lunch at the at the Mifflin Tavern, Charles. Charles usually tells us what we need to order. <laughs> but I had wings, Charles. They were delicious, but I put buffalo sauce on them. I know you like them dry, but I put buffalo sauce on them. What's the next one, Steve? Uh, it's BK asking for Front Yard to post a link. I'll, I'll put it in there. No, nope. there you go. Stevie, Stevie Lifts is going to put uh, Front Yard's uh, link in there so you can all subscribe. As mom and dad are real nice people, they uh, they run the local uh, a bar that's uh, local. The food is amazing. I, I don't know anyone that's ever. It's always delicious. The best bacon cheeseburger in South Philly. Hands down, best bacon cheeseburger. And it's funny. I'm not the only one that says it. There's a couple of guys on uh, Facebook. Uh, they go there. We usually go on Wednesday nights. There's a guy that goes on Tuesday nights. He always posts the same thing. And now there's a guy that goes on Thursday that does it too. Delicious. There we go. You got to keep up with these here, bud. Yeah. So I'm trying to make sure this link went through. It doesn't seem like it did. No. At least not. It's, he it's in. It. Oh, they say it. Okay. Yep, he okay. It. Here's my phone going again. Just uh, it's my uh, friend from the band still posting about his daughter. Everything's under control, which just a lot of hectic uh, things going on for him right now. So that uh, he's probably not going to be able to make the job on Saturday. But uh, his uh, his daughter is going to be okay. Oh, that's good. Yes. Which is good news. Yeah. So Rosie's just staring at the pizza on the fridge. Yeah, she's just waiting that. for pizza <laughs> bones, man. That as soon crazy. as Krabby goes out to the kitchen and starts making a pizza, this one starts acting up and she runs back and forth. All she wants is a piece of that crust, man. I don't know if she's got it. And I got it sitting right here ready for her because her brother told her, I ain't getting none of this, honey. Uh, I believe that's what you said too. That right? is, that's, the way, that's how I said Just it. Just how he said it. Well, that's what I said. Mm -hmm. Said what you said. Yep. Yep. So, I mean, considering I've ate all of the pizza and you had a slice. Yeah, right. I had one slice. I was going to try some buffalo chicken, but it's. Go there's on. A, there's, a, there's a slither about. A half inch square yeah. of chicken sitting there. I'll share my yeah. I didn't think of it. I had already. It's like Jake the stuff. Fox was here eating the buffalo chicken. <laughs> that kid can eat buffalo chicken seven nights a week. Yeah. What else we got going on? You bought me a new truck. You quit your job. Uh, got good news with Mia. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. I don't know how many of you know about it, but our daughter-in-law uh, has some health issues going on. But we just got some good news today. Uh, we're looking forward to um, uh, she's going to be having a stem cell transplant. And apparently that's going to move forward. It's been delayed a few times. Uh, so we're on a road to recovery. And hopefully by July or so, um, she'll be able to, fingers crossed, yeah, she'll be able to... Uh, start enjoying the house down in North Wildwood and, um, you know, do some stuff with us and then watch the dogs while we go on trips. <laughs> but uh, think, got good news think, today. Vito will be too happy yeah, Vito won't watching. be happy with it. But uh, got good news about our health today, and uh, we're really, really looking forward to um, her being able to uh, return to some normalcy. So, I don't know if but, she's still on here. Usually she's... Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen more, any comments. A little more active. She said, oh, there others. she is. She said, you guys are boring. Yeah, right, right. We're boring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd even turn mine on. I, I normally uh, I normally put it on there so that I get the view. Well, you're too so, busy. I'm too busy yakking. Too busy being a good conversationalist. BK is saying that they have two little dogs just like this. Yeah. There's nothing little about this one. Hey. Yeah. Over there. Well, you got to see this. This is the biggest chihuahua you are ever going to see. This dog is quickly approaching, look, 20 pounds. I mean, she's she's probably, I don't know, how much did she weigh the last time? I don't know. You know how much she weighed. Roger was 18 pounds. Right. He weighs more than she does. Right. So Roger was 18 pounds the last time he went to the doctor. He's got to be over 20 pounds now. 
He's the biggest chihuahua. Right now, there's an Amish guy in West in Chester <laughs> County laughing his butt off yeah. because we took him. We took this dog. Who's that? Oh, Greg sent him out. Sent the Majana's on air. Hello, Greg. Tell Teresa we said happy birthday. Happy birthday. And we Teresa. were supposed to be in Savannah this weekend, but the deal fell apart. So the bagpipe band did not go to Savannah. We could have been there with you celebrating Teresa's birthday. We miss you guys. And since you're just signing on, we were just talking about it. We're planning a trip to Savannah in the fall because Krabby quit her job. We're coming down that way, and we're going to stop to see us. We look forward to it. Oh, Scatic, they're playing yeah. the game. I was getting there. What's that? My wife. Is Ann's cheating? They're playing categories. What's that? I don't think I know that game. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> if it, it's probably it's have something to do with if it's your father involved, it's trivia, something trivia. Oh, yeah. So he knows all the answers. What's this say? He said, you, Teresa said thank you and you would love to be here. And you know, front yard saying you're the best at the bagpipes. Well, I mean, you know, of course. Janine, cheating? No. No, not me. Janine said me is cheating. <laughs> me is cheating. Yeah, we're uh, we're looking forward to our trip down to Savannah. I watched, uh, like I said, I was watching YouTube videos all morning long while uh, someone slept. All morning long. What time did I get up? I don't know what time you got up. I got up. At, I was you. up from five. I, I was like having an anxiety attack laying there. I got up at eight. And then I got up at six and I watched the show about traveling to Savannah, things to see, not to see, things you should do, things you shouldn't do. And then um, uh, watched one about traveling to Maine. And then I turned it off when one came on for Charleston, but I saved it so I could watch it later. Because Krabby wanted to get to the bar for happy hour. <laughs> it was lunch. Just like her birthday. We went out for brunch. And when we were walking home at almost 8 p.m. is when I got in trouble for breathing heavy. You got to watch that video. Next time, I'll let you die. <laughs> that I'll say it. Oh All I God. did was go. Yeah, that's pretty cruel. <laughs> All I did was go. No, you were breathing like mm. Darth Vader. I just spit a little bit. Greg says that Charleston's cool, too. Yeah. Well, we're coming down to check it out, Greg. And Kelly wants to know how the weight loss is going. Who? Kelly Myers. Weight loss is going great. The weight loss Doing is going great. great. job. 236. That's right. Fit in my kilt. My doublet was a little large on me. A little baggy here. A little baggy in the belly from when I was measured last year and was 274. Well, I'm 236 now. The interesting thing about that is on Saturday last week, I got on a scale to see what I weighed. I weighed 236. So out of curiosity... On Monday, when I finally woke up, I got on a scale. I was 242. Six pounds. Of liquid. Yes. Beer will do that to you. I gained six pounds in those, I don't know how many hours, whatever it was. Greg Sinemala says he loves the beer. Is he talking to you or me? It says Bill. <laughs> He's still gonna grab me. He's Why? still gonna it's Lisa. A mustache, yeah, right. It's just Greg, a mustache, it's a mustache, Greg. Mustache. <laughs> uh we miss you, Greg. You and Teresa. Uh we're uh, hopefully we're gonna come down and see you. I was talking to Wolf Bell and he said he was down there and that you were busy with family members coming in, so you didn't get to go visit them. But uh he talked me into the Toyota Tundra. Uh, that just what uh, he's he loves his truck and we end, we ended up uh, buying it. What's that? <laughs> trying to fix he's, my hair now. He's, he's trying to. Fix he's his concerned hair. about fixing his hair now. No, I'm looking at. Mm -hmm. You can see where it's. it's All right, what do we got here, son? Pay attention now. Come on, will you? Uh, Greg is hiding from Wolf. <laughs> and BK is saying what's so fun. Well, all right. So you gotta let Greg. You gotta call me and let me know what happened. Because he said he wanted to buy a property off of George, but then George called him and told him somebody else was going to get it. Is that true? Or did George just say, oh, that, that's taken now. That's not available. 
So you got to let me know. But uh, you could send me a text and let me know if you don't want to put it on there. But we do. Uh, we miss you guys and hoping Teresa's having a great birthday. And I know if I know you and Teresa, you're out having a really good time right now. No, celebrating really? her birthday. You're out eating somewhere. Oh, of course. That's all they do. Is eat. <laughs> Oh, your buddy's Jay. here, Jay and Jay. Who did good? Just got here. Good evening to all of us from West Virginia. Where's the mount Matt bought for you? We figured they figured we'd see it in the background. No, no, it's it's at the cabin. Uh, the mount is at the cabin, and I haven't been there. Right, since. Phil? He hasn't been there. I think Phil fired me. I mean, I haven't gotten a phone call about work other than he you, said you quit. No, I didn't quit. <laughs> Be more than happy to come up work. I haven't gotten a call. No, is. we're we're Good coming up. Calling. <laughs> yeah, right. Here's the mail. Um, they're coming up uh, next week, and hopefully, while I'm up there, I'm going to have um, an hour or two where I can run over to the Freeland Flea Market and look at the bear mount, and maybe <laughs> buy that to put in the other side across from the coyote. I think that would look. I think it would look fabulous. The the coyote mount is beautiful, and uh, I regret not filming more with South Paul 210, but uh, we were, or I was going to say we were talking. I was talking. He was talking. He was listening <laughs> and had a really nice night. We only filmed, I think, 40 seconds of uh, conversation, uh, but he's a great listener. We had a real nice time. We learned a lot about each other, and uh, I look forward to them coming back to the cabin or us going to West Virginia and spending some time, uh, some spend some time there. What's this? Uh, let's see. BK saying hi to J&J. JJ saying, yes, it would. That's right. It was John, not Matt. He's a great guy. All right. And what's Santa Mock Greg saying? Love you guys heading back out for a Guinness or two. And he, happy St. Patrick's Day from the Omalas. Yeah. <laughs> Be careful. From the, from the Omalas? From the Santa Majanas. Have a great time, uh, Greg, and uh, make sure you uh, tell Teresa we said happy birthday, and we look forward to seeing you in the fall, whether you want us to or not. We're on our way. New, new truck. Yeah, you have time to time to come up with an excuse and say, well, we got family coming in that week, or I'm having surgery on that arm. Uh, come up with something, but we're coming in the fall. We'll be there. I gotta braid my back hair. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, what's that? Because he's Italian. Did you hear that? Joke. Yeah, gotta braid your back hair. Like he's talking about the Italian. Oh, not this time. Stephen joined a mummers club too, Greg. Before you leave, Stephen joined a mummers club called the Leftovers, and their 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 emblem is the hand. Is the hand? I gotta put it in there. It's the hand. The Italian hand with the with the Italian flag behind it. I'll have to send you a copy, but he it's pretty it's pretty cool. <laughs> he braided this hair last night. Yeah. They're changing yeah. that though. Are they? Yeah. It's gonna be a pigeon now doing that. A pigeon going yeah. like this? That's pretty funny. But Greg Santamal is a great guy. Him and Teresa, I worked with he and his wife uh for many, many years. And uh um, too long in Greg's opinion. Yeah, right. Too long in Greg's opinion. But uh a lot of times, Greg helped me keep my sanity in that place uh, by giving me somebody I could talk to, uh, just to uh, kind of just hang out. I know, I just did it yeah, there goes the hand. Here's the hand. Uh, he uh, he and his wife are uh, real good people. Uh, and then Stephen worked with Greg's son in the jail um, for about Dwayne, almost four years. Almost four years with Dwayne. Good kid. Uh, he's still here in Philadelphia, yep. and his parents fled. Fled <laughs> down uh, down near Hilton Head. They're down that way and uh, got a beautiful home built and they're enjoying that nice warm weather. And Greg keeps reminding us how it doesn't really go below 60 degrees there. Those were great times. Love all three of us. Yeah. From Greg. Um, yeah, good guy. Yep. So anybody got any questions? What do you got? What do you got? What do you have for us? Went to the bathroom and never came back. He, he cried. sure did, he too. He cried that night, Greg. Uh, he said, you, you ditched him. He did. He ditched us, he ditched man. Him. He said, Greg uh, sat at my desk. His desk was 
on the on the other side of the hallway and all that kind of stuff. But he sat there all day long, not all day long. He sat there all morning long. We're sitting there going back and forth and, you know, doing what we did in the office. Uh, basically, I sat there and made fun of people and yelled at people all day long. Uh, and I mean, Greg uh, pushed me into these things. But uh, Greg was like, oh, I'll be right back. I'm going uh, to grab lunch. I got to go to the bathroom. And then I get a text message saying, uh, uh, I'll Bye. See you. Yeah, right. Bye. I'll see you when I see you. And uh, it was a pleasure working with you. But I'm out of here. And I'm on my way to South Carolina. Uh, so, that's kind of so how, how that's the way you should do it. That's how that's I'm how going out. Yeah, that's the way it should be done, too, in that place. I got the call and I left. Yep. So, so who's got questions? What he's got? What do you want to know? You want to know where he got the red hair from? My hair used to be that color. Never had a beard like that, though. This is my first beard. Never had an epic beard like that. I'm going to start braiding it. No, you're yeah. not. Yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. I just cut my mustache, too, or else you were going to get the, uh, the, the handlebars. Yeah. Oh. No, no, it was one. I had to, I, I probably cut a good. Oh, That's Perry County name. Whitetails is checking in. Oh, there he is. There he is. Perry County Whitetails is here. She's trying to defend me because he took another slice of pizza. And I'm like, I ate his buffalo chicken. It's fine. Oh, I'm just having just, you know, you just one. I only had two little. <laughs> I put it back. Oh, my God. I put it back. Stop. It's sort of like when we were walking home, I was breathing too heavy and I got yelled at. I just got yelled you at. for something else today. You got out right after walking home. Oh, we're walking home. There's two streets. You really have to be careful when you're walking. McKean <laughs> Street at 3rd and Jackson Street at 3rd. You really have to pay attention because people driving, for whatever reason, they don't stop at those stop signs. And they're looking the opposite direction. We're coming this Hold on. I got to get in the camera. We're coming this way, and they're looking that way. So they don't see us. So as we're walking, that's all we're I look over the parked cars and I see there's nothing coming. So I walk right into the intersection. Tiny starts yelling at me for not paying attention where I'm walking. It was, Again, it was like the whole it was like the whole episode where I was breathing heavy. I won't be concerned for you ever again. Okay. How's that? Oh stop. All right. Well, yeah, what's Perry County on. saying here? They, they're on. checking in. Okay. What's James Shane J saying? Don't, don't get there. Let me read it first. Bill, your beard, uh, Bill, yours would be like mine, all white. Mine's a little longer than both of yours. Stephen plays the part for work, though. He he wears that for work. And then, there. What's, um, and then Perry County is saying that they watched the bagpipe video today. Yeah. Now, the, the guy in the middle... Uh, doing the talking where he read the list of names of the deceased members. That's my younger brother, Bobby, or Shaggy, as they call him. Um, he, uh, he's our drum major. And then I think in the video, you could see Steven in the background, but I, you couldn't see me. I was off to the right from where the guy was that was holding the camera for me. He's uh, one of our marshals, Jimmy Mack. We call him Jimmy the Pusher because his job, is to get all the bagpipers and drummers out of the bars when it's time to leave and go to the next location. So he actually physically, at times, has to push you out of the bar to go to the next bar because people don't want to leave. I'm gonna so I call him Jimmy the Pusher. He's a good guy. I'm going to bring my trench whistle next time. It's loud. Yeah, right. It's loud. So what do we got? Perry County. What are you doing here? What do we got? It sounded great. Yeah, it, 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 it was pretty good. We... um. We do that every year. Um, we have a little memorial service outside our club uh, for members that pass during the course of the year. And what we do is anybody from the neighborhood, and this is, I mean, we're, we're in South Philly. We're Mummers Row on 2nd Street here. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty close neighborhood. Anybody from the neighborhood can come up and get involved. And what we do is after my brother reads the list of members of the club that passed, Anybody in the crowd can say a name that they want remembered. Uh, and then Pat Graven is the one that uh, spoke 
uh, talking about what the theme of the parade was and leading us in a, in a prayer. Uh, we just recently started that, I guess last year was the first time that we had Pat lead us or, or, or I speak. Doing it last year. Um, I mean, I just don't remember doing it. Yeah, I, I, I think we, we, I think we did it last year, but Pat always, uh, uh, when he speaks, Pat, Pat's very super intelligent guy, really, really good guy. And, uh, this Almost year he wanted strong. us, yeah, he wanted to lead us in, uh, in prayer and it was super nice. And so many, so many people had so many nice things to say, um, you know, that he did that. But, um, it, uh, our, our, our Irish society is all about community and, uh, uh, and it was nice, nice that he did that. And it's, uh, it's Harry a great Potter event wants to know if we know why they invented bars. Hmm. It's to keep the Irish from taking over the world. That's right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah, we. we yeah. I, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure that's what the punchline. Yep, is. I'm sure. Yeah. So Perry County isn't that far from Luzerne County, so we have to figure out maybe a halfway point, even if we just meet for lunch. One of these weekends, and uh, I'll scoop up Jake the Fox, who apparently really isn't talking to me anymore. I don't know. Apparently, he got me fired with his father. Uh, scoop up Jake the Fox, and maybe we can drive to like a halfway point and uh, meet you guys for lunch. Becca Bard's here saying good evening. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Becca Bard. Bard. And BK Bohunter said. Oh, Becca. I'm sorry. I'm. I'm I'm trying to figure out what you're saying, but it is Becca. How are you? Uh, thanks for checking in. And then who is that? It's a BK Bowler. Yeah, hey, cool video. It's uh, I really uh, we had a lot of video um, of us playing. We started playing at eight o'clock in the morning, and that video was shot at uh, about seven o'clock at night. And we we played. Uh, we marched from our headquarters to church. We played in church. Uh, and then we played in the Philadelphia St. Patrick's Day Parade, and then we played at the Mifflin Tavern. Uh, then we played in a uh, parade down uh, Second Street in South Philadelphia. Uh, then we went and serenaded Stephen's wife, Mia. Um, and then we had the service outside our club. So it, it, it was a long day, but it, it was it was super nice. It was really, really a nice day. Joseph yeah. said the parade was it was so much fun. We got yeah, little Joseph it was his first parade that he marched in, but hopefully next year he marches in a parade with a set of bagpipes on his arm. Go, Joseph. Okay, and then we got Eric and Zach saying he's going to post a short video. A short. <clears throat> I'll have a short posted just for you of Zach showing me how to fish. Yeah, <laughs> and then <laughs> that'd be nice. The kid can fish. You got to give him credit. Credit. Perry County can't leave Perry County without a passport. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Wait, you were. I I saw a video where you were at Hickory Hickory Run State Park. I believe you were at Boulder Field, which is right near where we live. It's not far. Broadyard said, "Thank you so much for supporting Mifflin, and also I will thank you for letting me hold the flag." Yeah, my man Charles. They're good kids, Charles, Joseph, and Vivian. Uh, good kids, nice parents, nice bar, great food. Can't go wrong. Um, good South Philly family. And what do we got here? It's another one from the front. Thank you. So, how long we've been on here? How long we've been on this thing? Just under an hour. Yeah, we're just under an hour. Nine minutes. It's uh, great to uh, you know check in with everybody. We were going to do this a couple of weeks ago, and Things things keep happening and getting in the way, and uh, we had uh, you know just stuff going on, and we we uh, we couldn't uh, couldn't get on the computer, we couldn't uh, we couldn't devote an hour to it. Um, I haven't really been posting many videos. Uh, I had a lot of video of us marching and on, uh, on the St. Patrick's Day parade, but um, I got a copyright thing for. Lisa's birthday video, and I had gotten a copyright thing once before because of a song we played on the bagpipes, uh, Highland Cathedral, and uh, I didn't want to get involved in all that, so I just uh, kind of avoided it. 
and uh, the copyright strikes that I got aren't anything that affects the channel. It just affects if I was monetized, which I'm not. Yeah. Uh, we're only yet, yet. I'm at 982 subscribers. So we're if you know somebody, there. share it with your friends, subscribe. Um, you know, we, I I didn't want to get involved in all that again with the trying to trying to piece together music where we're not getting a copyright strike. So BK I didn't post. Run, so I didn't post it. Later. All right, BK, you take care of yourself. Thanks for checking in. We really appreciate it. And uh, we're going to have to make a stop out there in West Virginia when we come out that way. Uh, who we got there? Front yard still here. Front yard saying go, go second. Street. Street. Go Second Street. You're right. Go Second Street. Uh, Second Street's a big thing in Philadelphia. Uh, it's, a, it's a great place to live. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a tiny little piece of Philadelphia, but it's it's huge. So, front yard subscribing. Uh, what do we got here? Perry <laughs> County. <laughs> What's this? It says I just subscribed five more times, just like Pokey for <laughs> Those copyright strikes are too bad. Several of our first three days in deer camp, I got those because of the music in the background. Yeah, right. Yeah, it happens. It, it, you know, uh, fortunately, I mean, all I was doing was talking. There was music playing in the background because we're, we were at a bar and there was music playing in the background. And I was speaking to Krabby about what she was eating. She was having a uh, tomato soup and a... And a whiskey salad. And a, well, she was having a margarita, <laughs> a tomato soup, and a grilled cheese sandwich for breakfast uh, on her birthday. You had a burger and fries for breakfast. And beer. Oh, man. Oof. All right, I'm talking. And and I no got a kidding. copyright straight. No kidding. Guys wouldn't know what to do if I wasn't a yacker. Charles was doing all the typing. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess he's done I guess it's time. Rosie's waiting for her pizza bill. So I'm waiting to sign off so that I could fight with her because I still want to eat that other <laughs> slice of pizza. <laughs> and don't worry. What time is it? You'll get it. It's 9 17. You know what? Oh, it's Friday night. I'm thinking it's Saturday night. I'm thinking Columbo's There's on. No Columbo tomorrow's tomorrow. Stevens, Stevens was here last week too. And, uh, he, uh, we put Colombo on. He lasted, I don't know what you last. Six minutes. Then, no, 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 he tried. He tried maybe a half hour. And then he was like, I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. We're talking about, I saw this one. This is the one with this. And and this is going to happen. And he, he couldn't take it anymore. He just went to bed. Well, one more thing. It was, yeah, right. It was sort of like when we first got our smartphones. It, he had the same look on his face. If they say, Steve, how do you, one more time, he was going to the roof and jumping off because of the smartphones. The poor kid, he suffered big time. Still does. I, my, The night that I drove home with the truck, I couldn't get the phone to connect in the truck. So I said, and he's, it's like nine something at night. He's like, I'll come to your house and I'll set it up. Just stop talking about it. He's like, I'm right down the road. I can't figure it out. I can't do it. I'm talking. I'm trying to drive. Ah, help me. I don't know where anything. I can't see at night and I can't drive. It was dark. I couldn't see. You can't see during the day. Perry County Waitress says, Eat the pizza. I got to get permission first. She made it for her baby. Eat the ham. <laughs> oh, yeah. Eat the ham. Aunt Sue, you on here? Eat the ham. You'll get polio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got to know Lisa's sister, oh. man. She comes up with some great stuff. Uh, she comes up on the TV. Oh, what's that for? Eh, it's for the blind. <laughs> what? This is for the blind? How do they yeah. see it? Oh, oh my gosh. I thought we were just throwing up games. Oh. Yeah, right. Becca said he looks like a lot like his mother. You're probably the first person that ever said that. Yeah. He has to look like that for work. He's There's a handsome kid underneath that beard. No, I don't. I choose to look like this. Well, 
That's just what you're saying to make yourself feel yeah, better. Yeah, right, very right. make me feel better. No, no. He uh he fits right in where he works. He looks good for his his job without getting into what his job is. Um, but I guess that's it, guys. What do you think? Roger said, wrap it up. Is everybody we ready to wrap it up? Bones. We gotta get pizza bones for the dogs. I gotta get that slice of pepperoni pizza that's in. it's only a little tiny slice, too, folks. It's not like it's a giant full size slice of pizza. Where you at? Roger's like, if that's gonna be in my stomach if you Nobody there. said you couldn't have it. Yeah, well, you, you said did. when I brought it out one time early. On time. That's you when I weren't hungry at all. That's when I thought that's you only I, made one pizza. Uh, well, that was a little flat bread. That I ate most of. It was good, right? So was I just good. assumed, since those slices are sitting there, one was up for grabs. Last week was a different story when there was one slice of pizza sitting there <laughs> <laughs> and three wings were left. And I'm sitting here. I'm looking at the pizza. Looking at him. Looking gonna, at the pizza. I was going to stick at him. him. Tried. Looking at the pizza. Looking at him. He's looking at me. And I'm thinking, oh, I don't know about this. JJ's JJ signing off. Yep. Well, we're signing off too. Everybody, thanks for checking in and uh, really appreciate everybody's support. Uh, hopefully, uh, the next time we come on for a uh, live stream, we'll have some really, really good news about uh, Stephen's wife, Mia, our uh, beautiful daughter in law there, and uh, putting up a great fight. Uh, Hopefully, we'll have some great news, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hold on. I'm the guest. I'm saying it. Go ahead. Check back. <laughs> what happened to the wool part? We'll check we'll back. We'll check back. Do you need to do it again? Sometimes you say check back. You do say yeah, check back. I do back say check back sometimes. Um,